The largest infrastructure project ever undertaken by the Panamanian government, the $5.2 billion Panama Canal expansion project, has been a huge challenge just due to its sheer size. We have seen a lot of construction projects, but none of these projects in any way has been so large or so complex. We uh, have to think from the bottom up at the implications, the, uh, um, the environmental implications, the social implications. The project includes constructing new lot complexes at both the Pacific and Atlantic sides. Each complex will feature three chambers, three water saving basins per chamber, a lateral filling, an emptying system, and rolling gates. To build the new locks, industrial parks were installed to produce aggregates and prepare the concrete. The project is expected to use 5 million cubic meters of concrete and 290,000 tons of reinforcing steel, among other materials. These new bigger locks will use less water than the existing locks, and 60% of the water from each transit is reused. At the peak of construction, there were 6,000 construction workers, the majority Panamanians. It's a challenge that the Panamanian has taken no, and has accomplished. Okay, And they're going to feel very proud of making the canal compared to a hundred years ago that you have people from all over the place of the world. The project is expected to help drive the country's economy. He had promoted uh, businesses to come to Panama because the canal brings businesses. It's promoted um, additional investments, the economy has grown. He um, had merged a lot of different activities. The expansion project is 73% complete and construction will be finished in 2015. Follow live updates from the Canadian Construction Association's 96th Annual Conference online and on Twitter using hashtag CCA96. For reconstruction data, I'm Kelly LaPointe.